Hey everyone, this is a super exciting little video for me to make. This is a big day. I've been working for several months on a template to share the digital Zettelkasten Fortana that I created. But what I wanted to do today is just to say welcome. And this thing has fundamentally changed my life. It's changed the way that I approach learning and knowledge management and writing and making videos and everything else that you can imagine that's related to information processing. The Zettelkast is one of several modes of knowledge capture that I use, but it is by far the most important one to my overall thinking process. I'd like to give you a quick tour of the major features of the digital Zettelkast and Fortana template. So here we go, I'm gonna walk you through it. The first thing to do when you open the template is make sure that you expand and see the tabs views. There are several tabs here that I've created. So we're gonna start here and inside start here, there are several sections. So first and foremost, uh, you'll notice the little things whenever there's a little gray circle around the little light gray circle, that means there's more information under there. You don't wanna miss that. And you can read about my note-taking journey if you'd like to see that. Uh, you can read about me if you want to know more about that. And the Start Here page is just that. It's just a friendly place to get started and moving. And then when you're ready, you just go on to the next step down here. It says Next Step, go to the Install tab. So you can either click that and it'll open up this way, or you can click Install and keep the tab view. This is my preference, but both of them work just fine. Now this is the most, this is the meat of what you're gonna be doing. Uh, you're going to be going through this installation process to make sure that the template ends up where you want it in your Tana workspace. There are several steps. What I recommend that you do is go here and open this one up first. So there's step one. And in step one, you'll see all of the super tags that make up the system. And of course, inside those super tags are tags and more tags and fields. And now there's artificial intelligence in there and all kinds of fun things. So really the goal, the primary goal is for you to get these tags into your system and the, the template import process will do that for you. And if you follow uh, these steps here, you'll be able to do everything you need to do. And then if you take a look here, you're going to be now next looking to install the Zettelkast and search nodes. And there are a few of those, but one of them is really, really important. And that is the actual Zettelkast in itself. And that's this first search node. So if you click this uh, little magnifying glass, you'll see it takes you into the actual Tana Zettelkast. And this is where everybody uh, really wants to go because this, this is kind of the generated view of the Zettelkast that you build up over time. This is also the, the easiest place to link things together. So if you want to link, say, uh, note four here to note one, then you could go to note one, copy that, and paste it right in there. And you now will have linked uh, note four to note one. And that's actually one of the most fundamental things that you need to do with your Zettelkast on a day-to-day -day basis as you write new notes and backlink it to existing notes. That's what creates the beauty of the Zettelkasten. So going back, again, that's right here. The next one is, and there's just a, all the rest of this is just a lot of explanation. I've kind of tried to, to go overboard and explain and explain. I know it still won't be enough and we'll end up making more videos and things like that. Who knows, maybe even a little mini course if there's a demand for that. So. Additional search notes, I use these a lot. There's terms, claims, and questions. So if you click on that one, you'll see that what it does is it goes through and it finds all of your terms that you may have in there. If you click on claims, same thing. You won't need this open. This will show you all the claims. And if you go into questions, same thing. There's all the questions that you have put in. Where do the questions come from? The questions come from your permanent notes question field. So again, I'll show you, click here, Go into one of your permanent notes. This is what they look like. You can see here are the questions. And in these questions, to show you one other feature, were generated by the artificial intelligence in, in the context of this note. Uh, and this is a really cool feature that I just added. And so you can check that out. There is AI inside. And then when we go back, uh, we've got terms, claims, and questions. I've got tips in here for you at times. And again, just open these up uh, and, and read everything and make sure that you go through everything. And then step three I've added here, because 
The artificial intelligence features will only work if you have the appropriate OpenAI key and you need to do that and there are prerequisites and I've got them here. One and two relevant questions. I've put in a little description of each one of the AI features that I've added for you. So that is the install tab. Once you've done that, you've basically done. You will have the Zettelkasten installed on your system. And if you get this far, then yay, you've got something really fun going now. And I would make a suggestion to you that you commit to writing at least one note per day for 30 days and linking that to a note that you previously wrote. If you do this, your Zettelkasten is going to come to life very, very quickly. And you don't have to overthink it. This is the, the mistake everybody makes is they think they have to fill out all the fields. No, you just need a note and an index term and you've got it, right? Just then write another one and link it back to that one. And then what you'll see is over time, your notes will grow. They will improve. You'll get better at it. You'll use more of the features of a permanent note that are inside this template. So don't worry, don't overthink it. Just make a note. Uh, the next tab is the demonstration. This is a sample Zettelkasten inside the template itself. It's not your Zettelkasten, it's the sample. You'll probably end up deleting these notes, uh, but I've, I've created four interlinked notes and to traverse them, you just click on the term and then you open up and see if there are any relevant notes and you'll see the permanent there, permanent note. And then if you click on that one, it will take you to note two. If you click on that one, it will take you to note three. If you click on that one, it'll take you to note four. And this one has nothing. That's the end of the line. By the way, little tip, when you get to the end of the line and you see that in your Zettelkasten, that is an, that is either a line of thinking or research or something that you have abandoned. You can actually query for these, by the way. Or this is a natural place for you to extend your thinking and thought processes. Look back at this permanent note here and think, gosh, what could I do to extend that? Go into it and start filling out more uh, more relevant questions, more literature notes. This will naturally branch from that point. And then whatever note you write next, link it back to this one. And you will have grown your Zettelkasten and its natural emergent complexity, the good kind of complexity. And I put a learn more tab in under here. You can see that I've created a whole YouTube playlist here of ton of things. And I have created links out to a lot of the main videos that I have created for Tana here, all right? And lastly, let's see if you've watched all these videos and you've done everything doing it and nothing's working, you just can't figure it out, then I did make this help tab for you where you can go and you can reach out to me on Twitter or YouTube. These are the two places where I'm committing to keep an eye on right now to answer questions. Uh, if it turns out we need more than that in the future, well, we'll figure it out, we'll talk about it. Uh, and I'll try to set up regular calls or streams or one-on-one -on -one support or help. Again, I don't know yet what people are gonna need, so um, we'll fill this out as we go. I hope you enjoy the template. I hope it helps you make permanent notes and link them all together. That's what it's done for me. Uh, it's been a real life changer, and I'm super grateful for your consideration, and thank you so much. I hope you know you'll be happy, and I'll be here to support you.